hi guys welcome back to my channel today i will be sharing with you my ear wash routine stay tuned guys you don't want to miss this one you want to see how i get these curls to pop just stay tuned <laughs> defining curl custard so guys this is my before this is what my hair looks like and now i'm just going to wash my hair so guys my hair is all nice and wet I am going to shampoo my hair twice, so I'm just going to apply the shampoo. Give it a nice first scrub. Okay guys, so now I am going to shampoo again a second time. This brush to detangle my hair because it does a very good job. So guys, what I do I like to make like small sections and I start on the hands so I don't pull out my hair. my 
almost detangled. And yes, it is. So guys, this is the reason why I detangle my hair when it's wet and I have the conditioner in. Um, if you can see the brush, I don't have a lot of hair coming out. Of course, you're gonna have some hair because there's a lot of dead hair inside of there. So it's now nice and detangled. So now what I am going to do, just to get the conditioner, to stay in a little bit, I am going to put on a cap on my hair, and this is like a shower cap. And guys, I am just going to leave this for 15 minutes, and then I'm going to come back and wash this out, okay? And then I'll do the rest of the process. Don't want to miss my final look, so stay tuned. Okay, guys, so it's been about 15 minutes. So now I am going to take my cap off. And it is looking a little bit dry because I have it there for 15 minutes. So now, guys, we're going to wash the conditioner out. Okay guys, so the conditioner is all washed out. Now I'm just gonna towel dry my hair. I'm not gonna use a blow dryer because I'm trying to keep my curls. So I'm just gonna towel dry. And I just pat my hair just a little bit like this to get some of the excess water out. So now it's time for my leave-in conditioner. So I'm just gonna see why I get some of the water out because this is going to wet the air again. So I try to hit my roots. And I'm just gonna go through all my hair like this. And I believe that is enough. So guys, now I am going to detangle again. It shouldn't be that much work this time because it's already detangled, see? Not that much work. So now guys, my ear is nice and detangled. There you go guys. This is what my curls look like when they're wet. And just to define my curls, now what I am going to do is add my I'm now going to add, so guys, this is my hair. Nice and curly and clean. So now guys, it is time for the curl la la. Okay guys, so, cause I get a lot of shrinkage, I always twist my ear when it is wet so I can get some big curls as well. 
So this is where I put my curl a lot in. This is where my curl a lot comes in. And I just rub it on my hair like so. And I give it, you don't have to part your hair perfectly guys. So I just give it some loose twists. And I'm doing big twists because I want them to be, my curls to be big. So I just give this some twists. And as I'm saying guys, you don't have to part your hair with a comb. But I do run the comb through just to get any mat so curl a lot. I mostly put the curl a lot at the ends of my hair. And twist. And guys, um, after I finish twisting my hair, I just leave it so that it ear dries my ear dry my hair and then i pull the twist out so i'm gonna show you the final result as well Curl Okay guys, so I took the twist out and this is what it is looking like. Yes guys, this is my final result. Let me know what you think about my hair wash routine. Guys, please comment below. Let me know what you think. Thank you guys for watching.